Also, a vigil is happening right now at LAPD headquarters for Officer Juan Jose Diaz. Kick Online's Jeff Nguyen continues our team coverage from there. Jeff. Sarah and Chris, just moments ago, in fact, you might be able to hear it right now, but an LAPD airship, a helicopter, is flying above us. They were observing a moment of silence right now. And if you want to get an idea of how one life can impact so many, let me ask you to look behind, because look at all of the people here who love this young man. You can see his co-workers are here, his classmates from the academy are here, as well as his family. And what you will notice is that there are a lot of Dodger jerseys and ball caps here, because this young man loves loved this city and that is why he chose to serve for this city. The first thing I want to do is go ahead and roll some video right now and give you a look at 24 year old Juan Diaz. His friends and family are honoring him right now during an impromptu vigil and behind the badge is a young man who is a son, a brother and a friend who's clearly loved by many. Earlier, his co-workers and other first responders paid their respects during a procession from the scene of the shooting to the coroner's office. Plenty gathered to salute this young man who gave his life to the city. And we had a chance to speak to Officer Diaz's sergeant from his days at the police academy. And this is what he told us about Juan Diaz. This was actually put together by his classmates from the police academy. Uh, they were hired in April of 2017, so they just had uh, two years on the job. And uh, when everyone started getting news of, of who passed away last night, um, the text messages started going out and all his classmates reached out and uh, put this vigil together on short notice. Just a young man, Juan, uh, always asking a lot of questions. Just uh, happy, fun going. Uh, grew up in a gang infested neighborhood and still never joined a gang, always did the right thing. And. Uh, Unfortunately, we're, we're, we're in this situation right now. I know this is difficult, so... Uh... And right now you are looking live as Sergeant Diaz basically is... Um leading this vigil out here. It's a very heavy night. You know, Sergeant Diaz told us that he spent a lot of time talking to Officer Diaz about what he wanted to do and why he wanted to join the force. And the answer for young Officer Diaz was to serve his hometown. We also touched on the gang influence in Lincoln Heights, where Officer Diaz grew up. And he never joined the gangs or followed the crowd. And the sergeant said the reason for that is because of the upbringing that he had from his parents. And so he credited the Diaz family for keeping that young man on the straight and narrow to eventually join the department to serve his city. We're going to keep an eye on this. And, of course, we will update you throughout the night. And we'll check in with you on KCAL 9 News at 10. But for now, reporting live from downtown Los Angeles, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News. Jeff, so heartbreaking for so many people. Thank you.